Hi everyone, it's the Kenny Crafter and I've lost count of which part we're up to. <laughs> but I've been doing some thinking and plan to change slightly. So what we're talking about in the last video of adding more pages, I decided to go ahead with that. I decided I've got the paper, let's just use it. I want this to be a tubby little cubby. Um so I am. I have the rings, we have the capacity, let's just do it. And I also, I've pulled this out, I mean look at the state of it, it's it's terrible. So I figure we can try and rescue some of the Dalmatians and use them in ephemera, but besides that, that's just, it's shocking, absolutely appalling. So, I, off camera, sort of put, Pulled out the pages I wanted and put them in where I wanted them. That makes sense. Um, I haven't cut them down or anything yet. My next question I have for myself is... <laughs> so these scrapbook pages, what do I want to back them with? Because I think... I do want them to be journaling spaces. So one thought I had was just to use plain printer paper and I could either stamp to decorate the pages up, I could stencil or I could just leave them plain. Um, actually that's going to be the pockets for the front and back. But see, so also here, well actually these pages are going to go together and make pockets, I think. I'm, st I'm still not 100%. But see here. Do I want to back it? I mean that one could actually be left plain. Um, I think that one might be left plain. <laughs> so yeah. But see like this one. This doesn't go at all. So... But I, it's perfect height though, isn't it? Oh, I love it when things like that happen. What would I back that with? That's my question, but I do know I want to use those. So, I think, oh, the first thing you need to do is, where we left off last time, so many pages, belly band. So I had a little sort through of what I've got left and there was this really long strip of paper and I'm actually now thinking do I want it on that side? I think I do. Okay. I didn't, I thought that was plain purple paper for some reason. So I thought we could back that onto some of this yellow card, just to give it a bit of strength. Cut it down to size, make that the belly band and then decorate it up a bit. So I need to first glue this to this, as simple as that. Okay. Just now deciding where should I put this. If you could see a wider view of my desk, you'd be appalled. Appalled, I tell you. Okay, I'm just going to. Should I cut it down first? Now I'm looking for my template. There oh, it is. I'll cut it down first, and then there's going to be less less glue. In theory. Actually there's not that much to come off. Put that in my like, okay, that's that pile. Okay, let us now stick this down. I 
and then we took it out. Off this side. Oh my goodness. It really is a squash. Okay, I'm going to take this page out because it's going to be easier than moving the whole book. We have to stop and change the battery. Just making sure it fits. Yep. I don't like that edge, so I'm going to try and straighten that edge. Oh, nearly dropped my knife. Good job the blade was retracted. Yeah, it's just a smidgen off. Another scoosh. Okay, so I think I want to decorate it before I stick it down. Just in case that goes more. So. I've got this page out of a Disney annual and I'm just thinking these make all cute aren't they I think that one that one well we'll get three on because three is a nice number we will if we choose a little one about the howling dead luck. I think Rory should go in the middle because he's facing to the way. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go and fussy cut these out and I will be back. And with a new battery. So I fussy cut out my three doggies. And then I cut out some stars just from what was left over of the yellow card. And I pulled in some of the little scraps. So let's try and stick this down. And I've still not found the pin for my glue, so let's hope it comes out. I'm going to put like so. Okay, so let's see. We have this one up here, a Rudy in the middle, and this one at the bottom. And I want the stars to sort of be peeping out of them. And I think I wanted two for Rudy because he's just so cute. So something like that. So let's stick these down next. So there we have the belly band all decorated up. How cute does that look? And I'm going to use the three in one to attach it to the page. Just because I think it's a stronger glue. So it's going to go across the top and the bottom. And then two. Oh, that glue's done everywhere. Oh, 
flip it and off. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that down a bit. <laughs> okay. And there is our belly band on the page. So we're just pulling this scrap of paper. We can have something going in there like that. Definitely love those stars. So let's get back to sorting out these pages. So we want to make a pocket on the front here. So I'm thinking I'm going to come in from my punched hole and come in that way and I'll cut that down. Oops. I think I just wanted about We'll need two at that size. But first I'll check it to make sure. circle punch and just cut out two notches from that which both are in my <laughs> Just easier said than done. Let's stick our second one down. So that is our two pockets, front and back, done. They will be decorated, of course. So, <clears throat> next thing, let's have a look at attaching these pages. Do I want? I don't think I do want to make that a pocket, you know. I think I'm gonna have it. I'm just gonna choose one of these pages. I've changed my mind. Which one do I want? The orange goes nicely with that over there. We need to first of all cut this down to size. It doesn't have to be size actually, we could make it smaller. 
I'm going to have a smaller page look. I could cut it off, let's see, there. I think I might. I think I might. Just to give it a bit of variety. And then we've got some more scraps to play with when we do ephemera and stuff. Oops. That was way off. Okay. But we do need a template for the holes. Then we have that page and this page. This page, I think I am going to cut off. Um, somewhere in the middle. so there's more space to write on so I'm actually going to cut it across here and across here okay and then oh yeah I know what I've done here. I removed the little vellum envelope to go on here. So this is just a old birthday card that I want to cut down. Again. So shiny, it keeps moving. <laughs> it keeps moving. No, I'm gonna have to do this on the paper trimmer. Okay, I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna make an awful noise. Trimmed it down, punched my holes, blank on the reverse. There was also bows on the back of the card. So keep those. I'm just going to attach this little vellum envelope here now. And let's put this bag in. Okay. They have done that. Those two. I think I said that was the perfect size. I am going to punch it though, I don't know how I'm going to decorate it yet. And just so I don't lose it. We can always re punch holes later. I'm just wondering if I wanted that before or after the villain. this page which I think I do want to be the length Ta -da! another one in okay this was an envelope I practiced making but I don't know if you can see it all cracked okay. I don't know what I'm going to do on the back of that. 
then this I did have as a pocket. I think I do want to keep it a pocket. But do I want to reinforce it? Is my question. So let's first of all. I'm going to put it down. Just at a random point. <laughs> Gotta live. Live dangerously. May. That's at the start of a word. I think I may need to put a new blade on. And then. Just a look in. Yeah, I think I'll I'll get some cardstock. Hold on. In a bit. I'm going with an orange cardstock because my white cardstock is too thick, I feel. But I think with this, you're not gonna see you do it anyway. And if you do, there's orange tones in the book throughout. So there you go. both out and I'm now going to stick them into a puppet formation. Oops. Make sure I've got the top there. And that's the right way. See my cutting was off somewhere because we get a peep. Okay, and then again. Oh, I'm gonna cut off the pug right on the head. That wasn't well thought through, was it? I was going to say, oh, I put that in the other way. I can't now. I've, I've punched the holes. <laughs> Do we have a pocket? The here. here. Wow. What an exercise. Again. I need to stick two of these together to make pockets. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need another sheet of card. So I just glued it to the card, both sides, made them into a pocket, punched my holes, and that can fit in there. Like so right, what do you paper strip there? I'm not sure about cluster there. I don't actually know if I want anything on these book pages now that I've gone through it. And I think, oh no, there's two pages, so where's that page gone? I've lost a page. Oh. Okay, so we'll do this one next. I 
like candy. Okay, so we need to centralize this up a bit. I just mark my four corners. And then putting in my ruler. Fresh blade also. Because I noticed the pages start at the pucker. Gotta keep that. And that is also cute, but I may put something over that. <laughs> and obviously we need to decorate the back because that is the November. Again. Been on the back of two other things now. So there we have all our new pages added. Our belly band done. And look at how thick this is now. Oh, we may need that ribbon after all because we've still got a ephemera to go in and that's going to chunky it up a bit more. So that is what we will do next video. We'll make some tags and journaling cards. I'm just having a little flip through as I told you. And also figure out how to get rid of some of these pages. So that one probably just have a stamp on it maybe. Oh yes, and I... I've decided. I have decided I don't want anything on these book pages. So let's take those off. We need a little something to go in there. And um, we do need to make I want to do like a paper paper strip type thing. So I'm just going through make it sure. Everything is in its place. So again, I'm going to take these off here. Just because I think we have enough. A page keeps bending, it's bugging us. And then, I know there was one here. really doesn't look in the centre because it's not in the centre of the green so it's it is in the centre but it's not because of the illusion and I'm just keep going back this belly band it's so cute look at them look at them so there you go I think I undid everything I told you in the first video <laughs> I mean I may still add some stuff to the book pages but I think it'll be flat things like stamps or maybe um, some stenciling, stuff like that. I don't think it'll be anything too poofy. And I think I'm going to keep the tags, journaling cards, etc. quite flat. Um, one, it makes them easier to write on. Two, the book will lie flat. So I think we're going to leave it there for a day. Oh my goodness, you should see the mess I have to my right. It is just... Looks like a paper monster vomited. <laughs> so I've been the Kenny Crofter. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Bye!